Hi, Vijay Mistry here. So you're founder of Rent and Director, author of multiple corporate training programs which have a green light status award from the UK Trade and Investment. And our purpose is to see leaders, entrepreneurs, directors, executives and managers achieve standards of excellence in everything they do and scale up their businesses with ease. Now, my dear friends, today I want to share something. This is an extension of a video which I did 10 days ago on white space. Many of you have watched that particular video. It was just a one minute clip on going into white space. So for those who don't know what white space is all about, it's about going into a think mode for 50 minutes every week. And what's going to happen is the impact it's going to make is going to be profound. Now, the thing is that every week, if you can schedule 50 minutes or an hour, going into white space without any distractions, without any uh, computer or without any of the devices, what's going to happen is it's going to unfold a new level of potential and creativity. But here's the question I got and a common question which I got is, Vijay, fine, I'll go into this white space, but what do I do in that 50, 60 minutes? So I wanted to give some more context to this particular uh, whole concept of white space. So there are five navigational paths. You may be having more, but I want to share five of them with you. And this is what I would like you to consider chunking out during that particular white space. The first and foremost is health. We have a navigational path and we no need to build an identity for our own health. I'm talking about the physical health at this particular point in time. So what does this really entail? There are three elements you need to look after. The first is obviously your sleep pattern. You need to make sure that you have six to eight hours of sleep every single day. So this is very important for your energy levels to be high, for you to have that heightened level of energy and the uh, sharpness for you to progress during the day. So I press upon you to consider six to eight hours of sleep. The second, which is very important, is obviously your diet. Because at the end of the day, if you are in eating the right foods and consuming the right amount of protein and fat and carbohydrates, what's going to happen is it's going to give you the right nutrition for you to operate at your maximum potential. So this is very important that you make sure that you have the right uh, food intake. I mean, for me, I'm 90% vegan, 10% I might spill over and have Greek yogurt or I might indulge into some cottage cheese dish or something on those lines. But 90% is mainly vegan. That's me. So you have to look into that particular perspective. And the third is your exercise, your routine of daily exercise, whatever physical exercise you can do. It could be cardio, it could be weight training, it could be a compound uh, a combination of both of them, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, it's about these three elements, which is the biggest uh, pillar or the biggest pivot point for your growth. So that's the first one. And what do you do in the white space is try finding out how can you really better your health? That is the first thing is that what can you do as far as your sleep pattern is concerned? How much deep sleep are you really getting? We now have apps, as you know, where we can really monitor our sleep pattern and what element of our sleep is that deep sleep itself. So you need to work on that. The second is your uh, diet, like I mentioned. What improvements can you make? So this is what I want you to consider during this white space. And the third, obviously, is your exercise routine. What are the varieties? What else can you do? How can you really step up the game? So this is very key and crucial. I exercise 20 to 30 minutes every day, but that is like a hurt box for me. So it's intense in many instances, but it depends on what it is for you. And obviously, I'm no physician or I'm no doctor, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a guideline as to what you need to do in the white space. 
The second, which is very important, is your finances. Now, I'm not talking about your business finances or I'm not talking about anything else. I'm talking about your personal finances, the freedom that you have, the financial investments you're making, your succession planning, your inheritance plans, whatever the concepts are as far as your financials are concerned. Now, one, uh, one thing I press upon you is keep it very simple. And let me give you an example here. And this is something I'm going to reflect this back to what I'm saying is that a friend of mine bought a Range Rover. And six months later, he came to me and he said, Vijay, the maintenance is quite a lot with this uh, Range Rover of mine. And I said, what do you really mean? He's saying that I have to really look after it. When I go to a shopping mall or wherever I go, I'm so conscious that somebody might scratch the car and, you know, he, he's always concerned about all those small things. And I said, why did you buy the Range Rover in the first place? He wanted the luxury. I don't blame him. But the fact of the matter is, be very careful about your financials. How are you maintaining your financials? Simplify your financials. I get people calling me saying that we have got a property in another Uh, part of the world and uh, you know it's difficult the tax regime is different this is why I'm saying simplify the whole lifestyle I mean if you have too many things and if you have too many moving parts it's, uh, it's it's it may be difficult for you to maintain that's what I'm trying to say diversify I'm not saying you don't diversify you need to make sure that you have the right investments secured investments But at the end of the day, make sure that you can manage and control. So in the white space, find out what is it that you can really do to improve your current financial situation. How can you better it? How can you simplify it? What else can you do to really step up? So you need to spend some time and think on that particular aspect. I mean, again, as far as I'm concerned, I have completely simplified my financials. I've made it completely as simple as possible, as transparent as possible. So it's easy to manage and easy to control. And, you know, the thing is, it's, it's, it's good to have properties and it's good to have all, all the luxuries and everything. But my, my point here is be very careful about the needs and the wants. Because at the end of the day, if you go for the shiny objects or if you go for some fancy objects, you know, it, it is good to have that. I'm not, I'm not against you not having that. But always consider the maintenance. Even if you buy a house or if you buy a flat or whatever it is, what about that maintenance? What about the time you are required to spend on it? So... That's the second chunk I wanted to talk to you about. And this is the second navigational path. Like I said, there are five. The first is health. Second is finance. Let's shift gears and go into the third one. And the third one is very important. And that is your progression, your business, your career, your growth. As far as your business step up is concerned, the building blocks for your growth is concerned, your progression to excellence journey Uh, as a whole and here's the thing you need to make sure you train and develop this is so important you need to make sure that you keep on having that creativity and come up with new ideas innovative ideas as well for you to move the needle for me I look forward to every single morning irrespective of what day it is because it ignites me Because I know what my talent is, my raw talent itself. And I know exactly where I want to go. I want to serve 40, 50,000 business owners, directors, executives. I've got a mission out there. So what is it for you? What is it? How can you make a better impact? How can you progress? How can you step up? This video I'm doing here is one of the reasons is I go into white space and I come up with new ideas and insights. It opens up, it stimulates, it vibrates, uh, you know, new thinking altogether. That vibrations are there for the new thinking. That is where the power is. So you need to look into how you can really step up the game. That in itself is going to grow 
you know it's it's going to help you in your personal identity as well it's going to help you to sharpen yourself as well now the fourth one which is very important is your relationship your relation with your family your relation with your friends uh your relation with all those you come across how is your uh social presence and what social impact are you really making as far as your uh networking is concerned your peer groups as well whom are you really uh, uh networking with and interacting with this in itself is very powerful because this is where you will start stepping up the level playing ground as such this is where you heighten your platform and for me i've got friends who are, who you know i could i could talk to them once in 3 months but we would spend about over 2 hours just speaking because we we have got so much to share and we got so much of commonality so what is it for you who are the four or five closest friends you have what about your family members whom can you appreciate whom can you recognize whom can you pick up the phone and call whom have you not called so find out what it is for you it's so powerful because that bond itself is going to build upon the uh, and heighten your energy levels as well so work on that particular aspect and the fifth one which is partly related to health as well is your mindset your mindfulness your growth your i mean do you meditate what is it what are the practices you undertake to be, to have that resilience in you what is it that you do to really uh scale up and what is it that you do as far as your mindset is concerned i'll tell you and here's here's some true examples i want to share with you i have spoken uh and i've got friends by the way there there there's a uh, wealthy industrialists who 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 are friends of mine when i talk to them there are two types that i come across the first is the ones who are always stressed they are always stressed even when you are speaking to them they are not present with you because they are so much stressed about their business affairs and whatever they are doing so this is the first of its kind this is the second type who are really very nice they are humble they are connected and they both are uh, wealthy industrialists and here's the difference is that one knows how to handle and how to control while the other is struggling you know and it's affecting the one who's stressed it's affecting his health as well and then i just want to extend this further and there is this third type which is even more dangerous are the ones who are just out to use you in other words so at surface level they're going to talk about your family they'll be nice to you uh and you might be business partners or you might be you know consulting or coaching or whatever it is that you are doing but the minute the contract finishes there is a complete disconnect and that just goes to show that it was a business relation the the small talk was not authentic the the relationship building was not present so that's another one and that's where the attitude kicks in and you know other other elements kick in and i i somehow i pity some of these people whom i come across in my life um and you might have come across these people as well you might have come across some of these individuals whom i'm sharing certain examples but this is a true fact now the point here is how can you express gratitude what is it that you can do to impart your knowledge to impart your resource to to be nice as well so you need to really look into it the game to win is not by just having all the richness and the uh, the money and the wealth that you might be having the richness is the centering the inner alignment the connectivity the deep bond that you might have with another person one of the things i do is i create these videos and i upload and sometimes i don't get many views and sometimes i get thousands of views it doesn't matter i get a few likes i get many likes doesn't matter the fact of the matter is i'm out there to serve that is my intention 
yes i do have my programs yes i do have my services i have leadership coaching i have business excellence blueprint program progression to excellence program i got all sorts of programs out there but the point here is is that you need to balance everything up so my point here is keep it as simple as possible simplify as much as possible and in this white space the 50 minute white space what you really need to do is the five navigational paths the health your finances your career and your business your relationships and your networking and the fifth is your mindfulness these five elements you need to chunk out and work during this white space and bubble it out this is what i do i mean you could have a different concept altogether but this is what has worked for me is to have more effectiveness i now have two chunks of 50 minute white space and i'm pushing myself to have three chunks of white space every week which means three chunks of 50 minutes every week because it's extremely powerful and i need more time because i'm coming out with new uh reality new creativity new ideas it's it's really helping me to sharpen the saw as uh, stephen covey says so work on this and i promise you it's going to help you and look if you have any further questions or if you need any further support you can reach out to our team the email is below and we are happy to help at any uh, particular point and whatever you decide whatever choices you make i wish you the very best and let's keep connected let's have that connectivity by the way every day i aim to post one video on linkedin the link to my linkedin is below this particular video connect with me on linkedin and you will have the opportunity of having this one minute bite size insight every single day because it's going to just help you it's this is absolutely nothing i sell it's just a video which i do but one minute of uh, value driven insight can help you so i hope you connect with me and, and i hope that i can be of further service to you thank you very much